talk about what made you decide to do a TV series? Uh, Woody and I had a pretty good conversation, Woody Harrison, about his experiences on True Detective. And, uh, yeah, I thought maybe, you know, if he could have that kind of experience and be positive about it, then I could do I could have a good experience as well. This particular script was sent to me, and at first I thought it was a film script, the way it was written. That made it very attractive, and it was one of the better films, uh, better action-based scripts that I've been uh, presented with. So, worked out a pretty good deal that still allowed me to do some feature film. And, uh, and with this, I get to play a lot of different characters, and use disguises and some accents, and bring together some skills maybe most of the fan base are uh, unfamiliar with me being able to present. So what about Mr. Johnson? Why does he want Alex Kane particularly to work with him? Well, he really doesn't. He really doesn't. But there's a, he knows that the Cassandra is up to something. So uh, he's letting her play out. You know, he's giving her just enough rope maybe to hang herself. Yeah. They all have like their own personal agenda. Everybody has their personal agenda. I mean, this is Vegas. <laughs> so, uh, all of them will be plotting with each other and against each other. There will be enemies, and then there will be my enemies. Enemy is my friend. You will have some of that as well. Did, did you have to do a lot of Las Vegas research for this? Like, go to Vegas and, like, uh, you know. Not yet, but I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not a gambler. So, uh, <laughs> I don't get the sweets, you know, I don't get the plane, I don't, because they know I'm not going to spend any money. But uh, I want to learn, you know, and I think it would make a better character if I have some understanding of how to play the game, or how to gamble. How would you describe the interpersonal dynamics between these characters? Are they going to actually try to work together to accomplish their games in each episode, or are they going to really actively try to underline each other? Well, in spite of the challenges that they face in the game itself, they're still somewhat uh, interdependent. They need each other. They don't often, they don't exactly know, and we don't reveal in the first couple of episodes why they need each other, but we'll discover that they kind of have to stick together because each one brings something that's necessary for the bigger picture. And that could be another game, or that could be something personal. Which one? The comic book you promoted with Fuqua? Oh, uh, that was After Dark. Dark. Yeah, so we're now developing it for a uh, feature film. So how would you describe your character? Who is Mr. Johnson at his core? Well, like I was suggesting earlier, if you had, this, this would, Mr. Johnson would be the kind of character Terrence Stamp might play. He's a little sophisticated, he's international, he comes from the streets, then there's another mystery behind him, but he's all he's learned the the culture and the, uh, the behavior of the super wealthy. He's like the ultimate major domo, but at the same time, he can be like Leon and kick ass when necessary. He's a facilitator. His job is to get things done. How many action scenes are you going to have on the show? Are you the action on the show? I don't know. I don't know. I think we'll do at least one per episode. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. We're not going to be Crouching Tiger in this one. But it'll be some good stuff and some stuff people haven't seen me do to date yet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Any more fun projects coming up? Oh, yeah, man. We have so much stuff coming. And we got a project that may put Blade to rest. <laughs> Everybody like, whoa. Yeah, we got a, another one. We'll see.